NASA's Juno spacecraft recently got pretty close to Europa and snapped the closest image in 22 years. This is only the third time a spacecraft has passed below 310 miles, 500 kilometers altitude of Europa. The spacecraft has been orbiting Jupiter since 2016, and now it made the closest pass in 22 years of Jupiter's icy moon Europa. On Thursday, September 29th, Juno got within about 219 miles, 352 kilometers of Europa, and beamed down four images, which NASA released within several hours. This high-resolution image gives us an unprecedented detail of Europa's icy shell, under which there could be a whole ocean lurking. This particular place is a region north of the Moon's equator called Anun Regio. This is the best view since NASA's Galileo spacecraft flew by it in the year 2000 and came within 218 miles, 351 kilometers of the surface. You can clearly see rugged terrain features, including tall shadow-casting blocks and brightened dark ridges and troughs curving across the surface. The oblong pit near the Terminator could be a degraded impact crater. Juno had only two hours to collect the data, and it's just starting to come in. Officials term Juno's rare look as key to establishing observations for NASA's coming Europa Clipper mission, which will launch in just two years to study the icy moon, and is expected to arrive at Europa in 2030. You can find a video link in the description below about the Europa Clipper mission. Europa's surface is made of an icy shell between 10 and 15 miles, 16 and 24 kilometers thick, and the underground ocean is estimated to be 40 to 100 miles, 64 to 161 kilometers deep. Europa is very far from the sun, and the surface temperature never rises above minus 260 degrees Fahrenheit, minus 160 degrees Celsius. But the reason Europa likely hosts an ocean is because it's orbiting Jupiter, and the tidal tug and pull causes the icy moon to flex up and down, which heats it up and helps maintain this liquid water ocean beneath an icy shell. Scientists expected Juno to see possible water plumes spewing from Europa's surface, but none were immediately visible in the initial look. Juno screamed by with a relative velocity of almost 15 miles per second, 23.6 kilometers per second. Back in 1997, the Galileo spacecraft flew by Europa within 206 kilometers, 128 miles of the moon's surface, and researchers suggest it may have passed through a water plume. But it wasn't until 2012 that the Hubble Space Telescope detected evidence for an active plume erupting from the moon in the form of a faint ultraviolet glow caused by atoms of hydrogen and oxygen rising up to 120 miles, 200 kilometers above Europa's South Pole. However, the European Space Agency also plans close encounters with its Jupiter Icy Moons Explorer, or JUICE, lifting off next year. Don't forget to watch the video on the right and subscribe. Thanks for being part of Cosmonology.